There was a time when I thought myself the deadliest scourge of these seas. <laughs> Previously on the Black Flag. What's up, ladies and gentlemen of the interwebs? This is Nord Notwork, and we are trying a brand new LP today. Uh, for any of you who enjoyed the Assassin's Creed series, let me ask you a question. Did you dream of playing in the modern day, running as Desmond, leaping from skyscraper to skyscraper like I did? Well, good, then let's go back in time to the 1500s and do a little bit of ship sailing, huh? Yeah, that sounds like fun. Alright, so we're going to start a new game here. Uh, hate the way... No, that would be the wrong one. Really need to get a keyboard for this thing. Let's just go off Nord. Nord? Yes. So this Let's Play might be a little uh, different than you're used to. Uh, I will be having some friends coming over later who will be mocking me and drinking heavily while I play this. Uh, it's a little early in the day for that now, and I kind of wanted to get the actual story so that you knew what the hell was going on. So the mocking will not begin until I've taken complete control of the game itself. Uh, for these initial cutscenes, doesn't really make a lot of sense for someone to be talking over the dialogue, or you might miss something. That's not going to end well. Okay, so the initial tutorial, this is how you walk. Camera. If you guys can't tell by the, uh... the press O to take the wheel. I am playing on the PlayStation 3. Um, my Xbox is currently out of commission, so I'm not used to Assassin's Creed on this. The first few episodes might be a little derpy as I remember how to use a PlayStation controller, but until then, let's waste some ships. If you guys played the last one, you'll probably remember the game mechanics themselves. Um, they got the ship-to-ship -ship battle pretty good. Um, I was a little hesitant, uh, especially during the last one, about, well, how is this going to work? Because I remember playing different sailing games before, and they never really... They were either way too easy to control, or impossible to control. Uh, ship, 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 ship. Let's broadside this guy. So, they did a pretty good job with this. Um, it's it's easy enough to, you know, 
change directions, select target, but it's not... If you hit something, you actually hit something. It's you, you actually have to pay attention to where you're going, or horrible things will happen. Okay, first set of ships down. The magazine! It's going out! Douse the flames! Get in there, you mongrel! Well, I guess he won't be a recurring character. Is it dangerous? Edward. Hmm? Privateering. Is it dangerous? Wouldn't pay so nice if it weren't. Why not sail with the King's Navy? Earn a proper wage? Sail under gentlemen? Sod the Navy's gentlemen. For every shilling I'd earn, the captain gets 600. That's no way to earn a fortune. We don't need a fortune. It's not about need, Caroline. I want food that don't make me sick. I want walls that hold back the wind. I want a decent life. H how long would you be gone with these privateers? A year, I reckon. Two at the most. All right. No more than two. Promise me. Well, something makes me think that promise was not going to be kept. <sighs> you know, I gotta say, in the, uh, the last couple of years, game companies have really stepped up their game uh, when it comes to the cutscene animation realism that you get out of it. I mean, it's almost like watching a movie. And that's one of the beautiful things about the Assassin's Creed series is it flows so seamlessly in between the gameplay and the cutscenes. It's really like watching a movie. <laughs> Was it good for you as well? Havana. I must get to Havana. Well, I'll just build us another ship, will I? I can pay you. Isn't that the sound you pirates like best? One hundred esquinos. Keep talking. Will you or won't you? You don't have that gold on you now, do you? <laughs> Bloody fucking pirates! Disclaimer, strong language and violence ensue. <laughs> I'm on to you, Sneaksby! Okay, so... Okay, you can free run right from the beginning, which is nicer than the last one. Uh, once again, if you guys played the previous Assassin's Creed, 
Um, they kind of nerfed the... Very cinematic. They kind of nerfed the free-running ability it's a hundred in the beginning. Uh, you could do it, but it was almost at half speed, and you couldn't climb certain features that you normally would be able to. And I understand why they did that. Because the character you were playing in the, the first opening scene was not your character throughout the game. But it really, it just slowed down the, the introductory portion of the game. Which, everyone who plays these just kind of wants to get through that, to get to the point where you're badass, and you get all your weapons, and all that. So, let's try and get through this as quickly as possible. And after all, I don't really think there's going to be much on this island to do. Oh, get. Where's he running to? Follow and I'll kill you. Huh. Big glowing thing looks like it could be important. Let's see if we can get it. Fragment. Okay, so. Yeah, I don't know what any of those things are, other than the viewpoints in the chest. Um, I'm not playing this as a walkthrough, so I will be missing things. Um, we could work together on this! Yeah, I don't think he's listening to me. That was nice, the little eagle sound as he jumped. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm not playing it as a walkthrough. I will be missing things left and right. Uh, I'm more interested in the storyline than achieving every possible goal. If you're watching this, chances are that's all you really care about, too, is the storyline. Otherwise, you'd probably be playing it yourself. Uh, there is a chest right here. Let's see if we can get anything out of it. It's not a chest, that's a barrel. Ah, there's the chest. Forty R. Forty rupees. Your distance. Okay, he's done playing around. So, what do we say we go deal with that? Come here. Come here, little assassin. I just want to talk to you. Counter. I'm not saying he was a bad assassin, but Altier would have Totally put up more of a fight than that. Their water's really gone downhill in the last, like, 300 years. Senor Duncan Walpole, I accept your most generous offer and a 
await your arrival with eagerness. If you truly possess the information we desire, we have the means to reward you handsomely. Though I will not know your face by sight, I believe I can recognize the costume made infamous by your secret order. Therefore, come to Havana in haste, and trust that you shall be welcomed as a brother. Suma sumil de servidor, el gobernador No, you gotta... You need that! <sighs> okay, so I don't have the Assassin's Blade, apparently. Let's collect your reward. Because I'm not actually an assassin. Awesome. Wait, so do I have... That runs. Do I not have the... Okay. Okay, so I do have... So even though I'm not an assassin, I have the eagle vision. That school will do me just fine. Come on. Don't be stuck. Okay, maybe they'll explain that at some point. Um... to water and resupply. Hold it! Stop them! Oh, they're running for it. Go, guys! Go! Oh, he didn't make it very far. Take my sugar! Take anything you like! Stalking zones. Got it? Sneak, sneak, sneak. Can I see him through the ro Okay, so three on one is much better odds. What do you say? You saved me. 
a profusion of thanks. Is that yours? It is my vessel, yes. But uh, here lies its poor captain, and I have no art for sailing. I can pilot her myself, no mind. You don't mean to abscond with my ship, do you? <laughs> oh, I'm totally stealing this guy's ship. I'm Duncan. What's your name, friend? Steed, Steed Bonnet. Well, Mr. Bonnet, let this stay twixt us. But I'm on a secret errand for His Majesty the King, God save him, and I must get to Havana with speed. Ah, oh, that is a relief, sir. Havana is also my destination. Our ways lie together. Natural allies, then. Ah, oh, you put me at ease, sir. To think I took you for a pirate when you first appeared. Did you? <laughs> what? No, that... What? Quick and easy, if I may say. Gave me quite a fright. All things considered, I think it's turned out to be a rather fortuitous day, hasn't it? I don't trust him. He seems a little too Weasley. Lacking a rowboat, I'm afraid we'll have to... Hardly the worst thing to happen. Stealth swim. What is stealth? Ooh. Oh, this mess is difficult. I should have taken my coat off. Well, that's a nice new feature I don't remember from the last game. So that was always the pain in the ass around the docks. Anytime you were forced to jump into the water, everyone knew where you were because of all the splashing. Welcome aboard, Duncan. She's a modest schooner, but well suited to my purpose, trafficking cargo from my plantation and such. She'll do fine. There's a strong wind now. Let's strike to full, shall we? Okay, guys, and this is the part I was talking about, where they make it a little more difficult than oh, most boating games. Oh, I find a bracing comfort in the feel and smell of the ocean. The raw stink of, of possibility. The raw stink of possibility. Maybe that's because it's the 1700s and no one bathes. We've really opened it up now, haven't we? <laughs> so now, if you guys are buying this game and you're trying to play it yourself and you haven't played any of the other ones, little bit of advice you almost have to not use the actual gameplay to steer when you're doing something like this if you look in the bottom left corner Trim the yards off the wind. there is a mini map that shows your boat shows all of the relevant channels land masses um, you you kind of have to use that more so than what you can actually see because trying to just steer like you would in real life you've got the the mass and the the forecastle and all that in the way so it can make it a little difficult to navigate through these channels now open sea not really an issue You can almost use the braking and speeding up mechanics like uh, drifting with a car. You're a natural sailor, Duncan. I did a decent trick at the helm some time ago. Two years before the mast as a privateer. Dash my buttons. Your life seems a grand one, if I may say. So full of adventure. How marvelous. I've seen my share of strangeness, I. Could that guy be any more foppish? How marvelous. <laughs> well, 
At least I stole... He's got a unicorn as his headpiece. I just noticed that. A freaking unicorn. Fantastic work. Very promising. Okay, guys. Um, I can tell by the music that we are coming up on the end of this video. So... This was Jordan Outwork with the first installment of Black Flag. So I will see you guys next time. Enjoy.